got to be human. And what a narcissist is actually doing. Someone said to me before, Does, do, is, is there any biblical correlations with this psychic vampirism? Well, yes, there is, because as the body is the temple, and you can see from this diagram how you've got body, soul, and spirit. As with any sinner, actually, who doesn't have Christ, the love of Christ, we, we, we all naturally have... Uh, an inner void and an inner emptiness which is a bottomless pit of darkness within us without Christ uh, we try to fill it with material things we try to uh, fill it with money or friends or, or drink or drugs all of these things that it, you know people always say that it just wasn't satisfying enough it just never filled filled me up inside well that's why because it's a bottomless pit especially with narcissists they what they're actually doing is they are trying to sacrifice other people into that incredible emptiness because they've become a shell through whatever reason uh, abuse or, or whatever reason in their life they have become a shell that is being used and they're trying to actually fill that inner emptiness they are trying to uh, make a human sacrifice into that emptiness within them. All of these tactics are to sacrifice you into their inner emptiness as a human sacrifice. You see how there it correlates to the Holy of Holies in the heart there. Well, actually, what you know, it's, it's a parallel and a mirror of what they're doing uh, psychologically feeding off of that human sacrifice into themselves at your expense and that is a direct correlation to this narcissistic agenda that we're seeing in this world on a grander scale you know in the bible it says in philippians chapter 3 verse 19 whose end is destruction whose god is their belly and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. And that is a, an accurate description. You know, the heart, the belly, the same correlation there. Whose God is their belly. Um, it doesn't just mean, it, it doesn't have to just mean food, literal food. It can also mean reaping their own selfish satisfaction. And that is, the lovers of themselves spirit is what we're seeing in this day and age. And it's going to lead people towards becoming themselves a victim of this very same agenda. In that the enemy's kingdom are, are trying to sacrifice the well-being of everyone into this 
agenda, which leads to nothing but a bottomless pit. Why do you think so many people come out of Hollywood, the projection of Hollywood, absolutely empty and depressed and um, addicted to drugs? I mean, we've seen the story recently. How Hollywood chews and spits out, chews up and spits out people, and it's just absolutely so sad. Um, because behind it is nothing but a bottomless pit. There is no real and whole end to being part of it, because this world can offer no real and true satisfaction. It's, and it's like the the bait with the hook is hanging in the centre of that bottomless pit and leading humanity, <clears throat> what is it, inside themselves. Is that what they say? You have to go inside yourself. Well, that is not the way, it leads to nothing because inside yourself, without Christ, without inviting Jesus into your life as your savior, is nothing but emptiness. There's no real light. There's no real, real truth and love until you seek him and what he did on the cross and when he cracked through into the heart of the earth through the veil into the heart of the earth and he rescued us and planted the seed of life should you ask for him to be your messiah he's already done the work is already completed he is already the savior he's already redeemed you should you ask for that free gift he loves you and he saved you. Just simply believe and trust in him for salvation from your sin, that he might give you new life, that you might be truly born again uh, into the kingdom of the real creator and father in heaven. And just reject this plastic, fickle, fake, self-centered, uh, Babylonian new age religion. And just in the same way that Lucifer was cast down that that's the only logical conclusion to that kind of obsession with narcissistic self uh, disguised as a spirituality of light the only way out is to ask for the rescue from the messiah turn to jesus and find the real living water that will quench the thirst of our barren inner selves and spring forth into everlasting life.